Hi there. I'm here with Rupert Ponsonby, a beer guru and director of the UK's first beer academy. Rupert, thanks Hi very much for coming to join us today. Here. So you've got some really <clears throat> fantastic beers and some food matching for us to do today. We've done a lot of research. Week after week we've been here trying to get this perfected. And so we've now brought you along for the final sort of well, sample. I'm really excited. There's some fantastic looking food, a bunch of really great beers from Innes and Gunn. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about Innes and Gunn first before we, before we go into it. Okay. Uh, Innes and Gunn was uh, set up in 2003. It was set up totally by mistake. It was a beer which should never have existed. Um, it was a beer brewed on behalf of a distillery in, distillery in Scotland in order to age its uh, bourbon casks. Right. So they were bringing bourbon casks in from Kentucky once used for bourbon and then brought them over dry and filled them up with beer. And the intention was for the beer, which was a very, very high strength beer, not at all nice, to actually infuse itself into the pores of the wood so as to extract some of those beautiful sort of toasty, vanilla, right. succulent, brioche flavors. Right. And so what they were doing is they were filling all these barrels out and then afterwards uh, the distillery workers were told to pour them away down a drain. This happened for the first two or three weeks until some genius of a distillery <laughs> worker said, hey, what are we doing pouring beer down the drain? <laughs> so they started to pour them for themselves. And although it's still very high strength, it had changed from the really, really ugly duckling right. into a rather beautiful swan. And so the, 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 the brewery took it back, the next consignment, and said, well, we, we know we sent you something that's actually filthy, but we'll test you just for, for to humor you to be nice right. to you. Took it back, tasted it, and it's the first beer they'd ever done which got full marks. And wow, since that fantastic. brewery, that brewer, Dougal Sharp, the year after was champion beer of Britain, with his brewery then. Right. In a way, it was bizarre that a beer which should not have been a beer actually won a better, pri better prize than the champion beer of Britain. 